Welcome back to another tutorial on how to remove green screen in the most advanced way possible. We're just going to use the advanced tips and tricks to this video and you're going to see how it is done in the most advanced way. How to use the Premiere Pro to remove green screen by using a professional method. So if you're going to go for an easy one, there's a car right on top, you can just click that and go to the easiest way possible. If you're going to follow me, you can always use the link in the description, there are a lot of source files given and download this file right over here and then extract it. When the extraction is done, you can just always click in and see there is a source file that has two files in total. Using these two files, you're just going to easily make this tutorial. You can always use your own files, but I recommend this so it'll be much more easier. So now let's get started. So now let's jump into Premiere Pro and see what we can do. So this is how Premiere Pro looks. It might be a little bit different workspace you may have, but you can change it to in this windows panel with the workspace and you can always change it to anything that you are familiar and if you want to have a similar workspace like mine you can always post it in the comment i will make a video about it so now let's just drag in the files which we just need these are the source files which i just given you can just follow it up and now we can see the video info right over here it's hd video now we are going to make a sequence the sequence is very important before you are going to make a video in it to edit it. So you can just rename it as something. So now we just made it and we are just going to simply drag in those files. Now first we just have to assemble both the videos in the timeline. Now I am just going to bring it on but if you just have this sort of problem right over here we have the video and the audio right over here we can just delete it and there's a way you can do it simply double click the clip and then drag in this drag video only option so you can really get a thing of this now we're just going to add the second video that's the background stock footage which I just given and you can always add this one so we just need the subject to be on top and the background to be on the back side. Now I'm just going to relocate this, which is just a little bit simple. When done, it looks just like this. So now we're going to easily do it into the FX panel. Right over here we just have effects and we're going to use a simple one, always known as the ultra key effect. This effect is just as powerful and removes green screen much easier. Now we just added the effect called ultra key to our green screen subject. Now we're just going to change a few settings. It's like a slider which is used slightly to change it. Now we're going to do it by going to the effects control panel. This is where it is. You can just search it right over here, effects control panels. And there it is, ultra key. We're just going to use this ultra key to easily remove this subject called green out of this video. It is very simple to do. I'm just going to teach you in the simplest way possible. So I'm, I just don't want this background to interfere with it. So I'm just using this toggle track output to you can see it. You just click it once and it disappears. Right, just like this. So now let's go over here. Now we're just going to use this color picker but before that there was compass option alpha channel and color channel I'm just going to fix it to alpha channel right over here you can see there's nothing and now I'm just going to take this color picker now you can see it changed back and I'm going to use this green which is next to the subject area now if I just click it you can just see that almost the green is gone this black thing just says that the green screen is completely removed and this white says it is the subject and that is what we need and we don't need the other gray things. This gray thing is not needed as these are the leftovers of the green screen. Now I'm just going to remove it by using the matte generation option. Right over here, we're just going to increase the transparency settings. 
now you can see as I increase it you can see that the subject has been eluded from the video we just don't need it we're just going to increase the value to where it is not eluding it so I'm just going to set it to 45 which is actually perfect and we're going to remove the highlight if you increase the highlight there won't be any change so if you have a problem with it you can always decrease the highlight which works perfect now we just don't need to go into the shadow in detail now now you're going to increase the tolerance so you can see that the subject can become a little more timid and it looks a bit sharp if you use this tolerance now using the pedestal we're just going to remove the excess so if you don't need this much that's why we're going to use another effect called crop okay after using this crop effect you can use the left and right right over here you can see it to how much ever you need I just don't need the top part because my subject is not gonna jump and I might use the left a little bit this much is enough for turning and purposes and the right you can always change the settings according to what your subject is gonna do so after we're done we're just going to use this pedestal option as we just talked about it just went in a whim so if this method didn't work then you might have a lot of details in your green screen this may also occur if you do not have proper lighting called as the key light which doesn't light the green screen properly and you may have different shades of green so we're just going to see how to remove that if it doesn't work you can always increase the contrast and midpoint to just remove those green scenes and using this pull suppression right over here I just want to change it to the composite now you can see I only have the subject sometimes if there is no proper lighting this green screen will leak into the subject at times like this you can always use the desaturate now you can see that till if it, if you desaturate it the green will go off but we don't need it i guess we can just set it to the default volume and now the range you can use this range and spell to increase the tintness that is the pink color to blend with green so it becomes neutral these are the things you just need in advance to remove the green screen in a much more perfect way now you can just enable this background and now you can see the video plays perfect and that's it for today's guys and thanks for watching this video and leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this i would like to have a new ideas that so that you can post it on the comments so i would get a lot of ideas and what to create in the future thanks for watching